Algorithm Analysis The performance of an algorithm is measured in terms of runtime and storage requirement as a function of input size. An algorithm that provides a correct result but takes enormously long time is not very useful. It is, for instance, of little help in real-time problems which require solution in split seconds. Likewise, an algorithm whose storage requirement increases rapidly with the input size is not amenable to implementation on small computers. Furthermore, there may be trade-off between time and space requirements. Thus, both time and space analysis is of crucial importance in judging the efficiency of an algorithm. The time analysis uses various techniques to estimate the runtime of an algorithm for a set of input values. Basically, two approaches are adopted which are classified as empirical and analytical. Empirical analysis In empirical method, the runtime of an algorithm is measured in real time for different sets of input values. The actual time is plotted against the input size to analyze the growth rate. Figure also shows a time measurements of two algorithms for sorting. The empirical approach has several limitations. It essentially depends on the computing environment such as hardware and operating system. Thus, the result of analysis can vary with platforms. It also depends on the data set chosen for test purposes. The empirical data may not be comprehensive covering all possibilities. To a greater extent, runtime depends on how efficient the algorithm is programmed for a particular machine. Analytical analysis The analytical method uses mathematical techniques to estimate the runtime. The method identifies crucial operations in an algorithm that contribute significantly to the overall processing time. The number of key operations can be determined by analyzing the pseudocode for the algorithm. Let us consider the algorithm for finding the largest value in array A of size N. The pseudocode is shown in the figure. Step 1 defines a temporary variable max which is assigned the first element A of 1 of the array. Step 2 and step 3 compare other elements A of 2, A of 3, 2, A of n with max. When an element greater than max is encountered, the value of max is replaced with current element. Thus, at the end of loop, max would contain the largest array element. By inspecting the pseudocode, we draw the following conclusions. Step 1 involves one axis of array element. Step 2 makes n-1 assignments to variable j. Step 3 retrieves an element n-1 times and makes n-1 comparisons. Step 4 retrieves an element n-1 times and makes at most n-1 comparisons in worst case, assuming that last element is the maximum element. Thus, total runtime for the algorithm is as shown. An important point to bear in mind is that algorithm analysis is not concerned with determining the runtime for a particular value of input. Rather, the analysis is carried out for the entire range of allowed values. Algorithm Growth Rates In many cases, we would like to know how the runtime of an algorithm varies with the variation in input size. For example, we might need to know how the sorting time would grow with the increase from 1000 to a million items. The behavior of an algorithm, say, for very large input size is often called asymptotic analysis. In the previous example, we noted 
that the runtime for max algorithm varies as k n plus c where k and c are constant n is input size. For large values of n, the constants would become insignificant. Thus, we can say that asymptotically the runtime of max algorithm varies as n. In other words, the execution time is proportional to n. The Big O Notation If the runtime of an algorithm varies in proportion to the function f of n, algorithm is said to be of order f of n. In short notation, this is expressed as O f of n. The function f of n is called growth rate function or complexity of the algorithm. Because capital O is used to express the growth rate, it is called big O notation. Thus, if runtime varies in direct proportion to n square, we say that complexity of algorithm is O of n square, algorithm growth functions. This table shows some of functions commonly used to study the behavior of algorithms. The graph and functions commonly used in analysis of algorithms are shown on the screen. Logarithmic algorithm. The growth function has some useful properties which reflect performance characteristics of an application. The runtime of a logarithmic algorithm varies as log n, where n is size of problem. Conventionally, log has base 2. Logarithmic algorithm grows slowly and has the best performance. For example, if the problem size increases by a factor of 1000, the runtime increases roughly by 10. Binary search algorithm has logarithmic behavior. Linear algorithm The execution time of a linear algorithm grows in direct proportion to the size of a problem. The performance of a linear algorithm is rated as good. An algorithm based on a single loop shows linear growth rate. Examples of linear algorithms are searching, deleting and inserting operations on arrays and vectors. N log N The N log N has moderately high growth rate. The divide and conquer algorithms generally exhibit this behavior. Quadratic algorithm The quadratic algorithm grows as sequence of input size. The algorithm with a pair of nested loops shows quadratic behavior. For example, the multiplication of two n by n matrices has O n square runtime. The quadratic algorithm have fast growth rate. Cubic algorithm The runtime of a cubic algorithm varies as the cube of the problem size. Such algorithm grow very rapidly. A problem involving three nested loops has a cubic growth rate. Operations on three-dimensional arrays, for example, exhibit cubic behavior. Exponential algorithm. The algorithm with runtime of the order of 2 power n, where n is input size, are called exponential algorithm. These algorithms grow at extremely high rate and not very useful for many practical applications. Below is a comparison of growth rates of main functions used to analyze the algorithms.